So GeoShield reached out to sponsor a video and super thankful for them. They wanted to feature their Pro Nano ceramic film, which is what I got right here. And this video already went through a couple of iterations, but basically what I'm gonna be doing now is doing a shrink off between uh, a Scorpion heat rejection film and then GeoShield's Pro Nano. Originally, we were gonna do a ceramic versus dyed comparison with this stuff because it was just surprising as soon as I tried it out. But um, because I've been short on sedan back windows lately in the proper space, I have a windshield here. Um, and we're gonna just do the shrink off between um, those two films on this windshield. Now, this is a 20% film. Full disclaimer here, don't install a 20% on your windshield. It's too dark, it's just dumb. This is only gonna be for shrinking purposes. I just wanna make that clear right off the get-go. So I'm gonna put this on that windshield. I'm just gonna shrink it and we're gonna do just a direct comparison. So like you guys saw in my uh, reverse roll video. We're just gonna put some dryer sheet over this, which is what I normally do. Um, I'm gonna be testing out a couple of dry shrink methods in the near future, but for right now, I'm just gonna do a dryer sheet. So it's gonna be a straightforward dryer sheet, dry shrink method. Okay, so this is the Pro Nano 20%. This is the competitor's ceramic window film in three, two, one, go. So one of the benefits of ceramic window film is definitely the heat that it blocks out of the vehicle and radiates off the glass. But traditionally, most ceramic films have been real slow to shrink and a little bit of a, they've taken a, a stronger learning curve for most people. But what was really surprising about this stuff, as soon as I tried it out, was how effortless this was to shrink. Now, I'll have you keep in mind that they left me, um, they left the decision up to me on pretty much what the video was gonna be. They just wanted to feature their film in the video. And I just felt like I had to show it off as soon as I tried it out because seeing a ceramic film shrink like this is just not something that I'm used to seeing pretty much anywhere in the industry. There we go, we got about half, and then we're gonna move over to the other side. One. Thought I was gonna be cool. This trigger on this heat gun, it sticks. So also the way that I'm shrinking this is really just let the heat do the work. And I'm using this to just kind of push down after the fact. I'm not even trying to force this. I'm just kind of using it to smooth everything out and direct, um, direct where to shrink as soon as I see the film starting to move a little sideways on me. And that's really just, um, that really just comes from the film, uh, the, the distortions in the film as you go along. So you wanna reach across, long windshield. Go back up here. This is where you're gonna get most of your uh, issues is the top corners of the windshield. The middle is typically the easiest. And we can just take it. I'm just having fun with this. Honestly, this is super easy. Really nice film. I was, I was genuinely surprised. I was expecting this to take at least twice as long as a dyed film. And I betcha this would damn near beat out most dyed film. So we're just gonna wrap this up. Okay. This little guy right here 
Let me say that again. This little guy right here is not a crease. Just push it down a little soon there. Heat it right out. And then I'm well past my border. I'm just cleaning up the very, very top for, for the hell of it. And that's that. So I'm not entirely sure how long that was, but it was super easy to work with. I'm gonna look over the times and then give my thoughts afterwards. Whew. So I just got done editing the footage up until this point, and I am genuinely surprised at the difference between the GeoShield dyed ceramic and the Scorpion Nano Carbon Ceramic. So I figured I'd take a moment and explain why one went way faster than the other. And that's the main reason right there, is the GeoShield is a deep dyed ceramic, and the Scorpion is a Nano Carbon Ceramic, and that's how they get their color. So traditionally, uh, dyed ceramics have been around for a period of time and then these nanocarbon ceramics came onto the market and really started taking the lead on dyed ceramics and for a good reason they were definitely outperforming dyed ceramics um, the carbon ceramic it was a little bit more of a headache to learn as you can see I'm still shrinking it in this video and the reason for that is just the nature of the technology. So it gets its color from the tiny carbon particles that they put in it. And then they also have to add the layer of ceramic. Now the carbon particles also add a little bit of performance along with the majority of the performance coming from the ceramic that they put in it. And when you combine those two, you have one hell of a film. So the biggest drawback to the Scorpion film that you have is the nanocarbon particles create what is called a low angle haze. Now you might have customers complain about it or just not understand what's going on. So it takes a little bit more time to explain. Now basically, when you have your front doors tinted, and let's say you're trying to match factory window tint in the back, the tint in the back is just dyed glass, that's all it is. And when you put a layer of carbon ceramic film on the front and the sun hits it, you know, in the evening or if it's high, you know, during the day and you just get it right, the whole window will start to haze up and then you'll look at the back doors and they'll be completely clear, minus the, the dye that's there. And you can definitely tell a difference. It looks like it's cloudy. Um, now, with a dyed ceramic film, you still have a little layer of ceramic in there that might create a little bit of low angle haze, but because you get the majority of your color from the dye, you're not gonna have near the low angle haze that you are gonna have it with the carbon ceramic film. Now, with a deep dyed ceramic, dye doesn't really add a whole lot of performance values. It really just creates a nice looking film and so that's why the majority of films are just dyed. They're inexpensive on the market. It's a good way to just tint your windows and go about your day. So, but when you wanna add a little bit of performance to it, you gotta put a layer of something in there. And GeoShield managed to add ceramic and dye, but the ceramic layer has come a long way from what I've tried in the past. So it was genuinely impressive to put both of these films side by side on a heat lamp and I can hardly distinguish the difference between the two. I popped it back and forth and it was just surprising. I really wanna get some heat sheets or uh, a visual representation to show you guys, but I didn't have any on hand so you're just gonna have to either take my word for it or get some from them or you know order a couple samples around. It was genuinely impressive. And as you can see with this video, I, I finished well ahead with the GeoShield over the, the Nano Carbon. That felt like it took a little bit longer. So, as you guys saw, when you get towards the end, that's when all your film starts bunching up together and that's where you're gonna run into the biggest problems. It's real easy to shrink um, the first you know, quarter up, first quarter down, but when you get into the second quarter, all the way at the bottom and all the way at the top in these corners especially, there's a lot of time where you can run into a bunch of problems. Um, it just takes more heat, more film coming together. When you have a high quality film manufactured with uh, insulation in mind, it's just a huge time saver to have something that's gonna shrink a lot faster than, um, than a traditional ceramic wood. So, now that doesn't mean the nanocarbon film is a bad film whatsoever. I've been using films like it, you know, for the past four or five years now. 
but the Geo Shield is just astonishing now. I'm very happy with it, and um, I, I hope this uh, explanation just kind of cleared up one versus the other. If you guys have more questions, I'd be happy to answer them in the comments below. Um, thank you so much for watching and thank you GeoShield for sponsoring this video. I will have a lot more information down in the description, links to them, give them a shout out, give me a full creative control on what was here and said and I, I just hope you guys like this video. I will see you guys in the next one.